Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd of 2021. How many times have we heard someone say about someone else, oh, they are such a character? But truly, one's character is not so much what they do on any given occasion as it is who they are on a consistent basis. One of the surest ways of knowing someone's character is to watch them closely during a time of trouble or tribulation because character is revealed, not made, during a crisis. So today, this morning's prayer wrestles with character and its true meaning. Father, many of us wrestle with character, probably because the traditions of man cause us to think improperly about ourselves. Character is a defining attribute, for it is not the label of what we do, but rather it is the process of life stemming from who we truly are. Father, character is not defined by a few random acts, but in the culmination of every act that we do. It's also not who we become in the presence of others, but who we are when no one else is present. Oh, Father, perhaps this is why so many are unhappy with their lives. For true character rests in understanding who we are in you and living accordingly. Father, true character realizes it is okay to be whom you have created us to be. Your character is placed in each person so we can fulfill the destiny you have created for us. Father, you desire that we walk uprightly and work righteousness, to speak truth and not do evil. You expect us to honor commitments and our word, even when it's costly to do so. Father, we are to stand firm against evil people, to honor those who fear you. Character is revealed, not made, during a crisis. Your word is filled with examples for us to follow. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were confronted with either bowing before King Nebuchadnezzar's statue or to be thrown into the fiery furnace, they chose to remain steadfast in you. When Joseph was imprisoned for being falsely accused, he did not turn his back on you and you eventually promoted him to second in command of Egypt. Daniel chose to remain faithful to you, knowing that if he were caught, it would mean the lion's den. And Paul and Silas chose to sing praises and to worship you as they sat in their prison cell. Oh, Father, truly, our character shines brightly during times of conflict and tribulation. Father, show us where we are in our character. Let there be an honest introspection and inventory of ourselves, lest we be deceived. Father, develop character in all of us for your glory. It's in the name of Jesus that I pray this morning, Father. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.